You think you need an S-Class for this? You don't. 3 point something million peso Toyota can do it. Ottomans. You can even recline all the way back. And they work for both the second row seats. Here we have a 2017 Toyota Alphard. I'm going to show you around this car and I'm also going to give it a test drive. To open up the Alphard, you have your standard key that looks like a Land Cruiser key or a Fortuner key. So you just keep it in your pocket. You got keyless entry. Touch here and it unlocks. You're greeted in the Alphard with this beautiful beige interior. It's beige all around. You got your power seats adjustment here, but no lumbar support. Here at the side, you got your automatic windows. All four are automatic. You can fold your side mirrors here and you can even adjust them. Stepping on in. Let's check the doors of the Alphard. They sound okay for Japanese car. So let's start it up. Just put your foot on a brake and press the power button. As you can hear, the seats are going back to the position I left them before entering the car. The steering wheel is just a basic steering wheel from Toyota that you'll see something in like a Land Cruiser. Here at the center, you have this screen that is very small that looks something just like from an Innova. At this price point, I'm sure Toyota can do better. In other countries, the Alfred actually comes with a bigger screen, something this big, and I've even seen some that looks like a Tesla screen. You got a cubby over here. You got more cubbies here. There's also a cubby actually here on this side. You can open this up. Same thing with the passenger side. There, you see that? Slow and classy. Move back here. This is your electronic parking brake. So down to release and up to engage. You got a hold switch, so if you're at an incline, the car will actually hold itself for you. You can have eco mode, which slows down the throttle response and supposedly saves you a little bit of gas, but it doesn't really help out that much. Over here, you can turn off your traction control. This car is actually quite fun to drive, especially with that thing off. It's like a mini, mini giant rocket. More cubbies over here, got a 12 volt socket. This one is removable. Put the coins or your ashtray in there if you want to. Here, the shift knob is also covered in this like uh, leather like material so it's down and left plus and minus manual shifting more cubbies here this a uh, fake wood trim and this is also rubberized so if you put your phone there it won't really slide around one cool thing about this alfred is this center armrest so just like the w221 s class the s class made from 2006 to 2013 or 14 this one opens up to the right, and there's another button here. You press it, and it also opens to the left. Dual hinge, pretty cool. Here on the side, you got uh, soft touch materials, more soft touch materials. This is hard plastic, piano black, scratches easily, more soft touch materials. Up here, we got soft touch, and this is so big. Look how big and wide that is. You got automatic uh, rear view mirror that adjusts. You got a cubby here for your sunglasses. Oh, that seems, there you go. This car also has two sunroofs, so one here. This one only tilts up and down, but it doesn't uh, slide. And at the back, you have an even bigger sunroof, which uh, slides as well. Here at the back, there's two ways to open the Alfred. You can either pull the handle once and it'll automatically open, or you can just press this button and it'll open up like that. So it has automatic doors on both sides. As you enter, you can see just how nice the seat looks. Look at that. It looks like a very executive looking seat, both sides. You even have an Ottoman function, which you can raise up here. See, it goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up. That's way more than what you get from an S-Class. You also got power recline. Just press this other button right here and you recline like that. Really great seating here. So as we climb on up, you can just see how much legroom you have here. I'm now going to close the door, automatic as well. Nice grab handle, by the way. One more over here. You're at the back, the party tricks don't stop there. If dual zone climate control is not enough for you, you have tri zone climate control. So you can turn your own climate settings back here, increase your fan speed, your temperature. And what's cool about this is color and room. Where are these things? Look, room. Oh yes, you got LEDs all around. You just hit the color button and you cycle through so many colors. 
I want to keep it at like pink. It reminds me of the club in BGC. <laughs> Still, if that's not enough party tricks for you, over here you can actually move the front seats so that your driver doesn't have to reach it. And this one also moves. Down here at the center, you got the cubby here. You have another cubby here if you want to store, uh, I don't know what you want to store in there. And here in the center, you also have this nice table for you to put your phone or your wallet, four cup holders. If that's still not enough, there's another one over here. Perfect for anything you want. If you have a family of seven and you have to transport everyone and they're a bit on the tall side, this car, no issues at all. Here at the back, you can see there's just so much space and you can even move the seat forward if you want for easier entrance and exit. But it gets even better here at the second row. So as you can see, if you're a business executive, this seat is perfect for you. Why? Look, you think you need an S-Class for this? You don't. 3 point something million peso Toyota can do it. Ottomans. You can even recline all the way back and they work for both the second row seats. So I don't think a lot of us would associate Toyota with luxury, only reliability, and so they did this. To open this up, you actually have to pull it manually, but you can actually close it automatically. Kinda weird. Oh, by the way, if you use the keys, you can actually open it up manually. It's kinda weird with Toyota. Anyway, here at the back, you can see that cargo room is plenty full, but if you want more cargo room, you can use this lever and the seat actually slides forward and backwards. Once you align it to these two arrows over here, grab this number two lever, pull it. This one goes down and this one folds up like that. Nice, clean and simple. And this one just hooks up over there. Here at the front, Toyota greets you with their Alfred's beautiful big chrome grill. Now this one still has the Toyota logo. The newer Alfred's has a weird alpha symbol logo. But anyway, 2017 still has this. To open this up, just grab under here and this one lifts up so as you can see the hood is just extremely short it's not exactly comparable to driving a high ace but it's pretty close under the hood you have this uh, 3.5 liter v6 it's a 2g rfe toyota engine same engine you use in a camry so you know that it's very reliable so driving the toyota alfred the first thing you'll notice with this car is just how smooth it is now over bumps, you barely feel it. It's like a super jacked up Camry, you know, like a Camry that's big. Yeah. So people will say that you're gonna need an S-Class to feel comfortable. Well, not really. For one third of the price of an S-Class, you can get this car with Ottomans at the back and actually have enough space to stretch out. So under the hood of this Alfred is a 3.5 liter V6 and it really accelerates like, for a minivan that's amazing that sounds really good for a van so you could be pulling up to picking up your kids at school or picking up your executive boss or your wife or your mother and you can do it while having fun oh i can't get enough of that v6 engine if you think the luxury stops there the alfred is very much like a lexus inside so everything, the materials in here, they're all great. Soft touch here, soft touch there. And the dials, which I will show you later, they're very similar to that in the Lexus. That's what they call the Optitron gauges. In the early 1990s, Lexus started using these gauges and they've improved on it and they look way better now. So the Alfred has this. One cool thing about the Alfred is just like most Lexuses, if you put the window down, it actually slows down at the end. That way it's just a bit quieter. Same thing when you put the windows up and it slows down to make it even more quiet. And those are just a small attention to detail that only companies like Lexus would do. So if this car were to be an LM class, the Lexus version of this, and I didn't tell you, you'd be hard pressed to find out which is which. 